Hello everybody, welcome to City Skylines. This is going to be a mod showcase of Node Control. Uh, this is a very handy mod um, that has been honestly something that um, I've looked forward for years and it is finally here. It has actually been redone recently uh, by another mod author, but I'm going to go over kind of three kind of general scenarios of when you want to use this, what this is kind of good for, and then just kind of go over some of the other options. Uh, so the first one we're going to start off is just a very basic. So this is just a standard city skylines intersection. Make left, right, go straight through. There's traffic lights, whatever it is. But you'll notice that all these corners are kind of sharp. You know, this doesn't really, this may be in other countries, but in America, this is kind of a very narrow uh, intersection. And when cars are turning right, it's going to take them a little bit more because they have to slow down more because it's at a sharper angle, all that sort of stuff. And this game actually does model that. So if we go into our roads menu, uh, we will have this new icon down here for node control. If we click on that, suddenly we can have a few options. We can add a new node. So if we want to add a node somewhere, you can easily do that with this mod as well. So back, you know, what you might have to do before is just grab a road, draw it out. Now you have a new node. Now you can just pick up this mod and literally put it wherever you want. It'll turn red when you can't put it. So if you're getting too close to another node, it'll be green when you want to add another node. And I will show you another nice little handy feature of this mod in a second with this. Uh, but first off, we can go click on the main intersection and you'll see we get all these different dots. Now they're going to correspond to different things in here. So you have all these different options where you can shift roads which is very handy. Um, you can, you know, change the angle. So basically, you know, what this node looks like and how these roads look. Um, and you can turn on crosswalks, markings, all that sorts of stuff. And this is a very nice little option right here. So you can actually have the intersection go to a, uh, to the slope. So in default city skylines, if a intersection meets on a slope, it's going to flatten that intersection and it's going to look horrible most of the time. <laughs> Um, but in this, it will actually kind of continue to the uh, slope of the angle, just like you'd see in real life on intersections that meet on a hill. Um, and it will give you a nice, smooth, continuous intersection, which is very, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do here. So you can drag the angle. So if you want to click on this little note on the side, if for some reason you have a weird angle intersection, you want to kind of straighten it off or change the angles, you can gladly do that. You can also grab on the outer end of the circle and you can do the same thing. Um, you can also drag this out. So if you want to make this a little bit wider uh, turns, you can do this as well. And then as you can see, oh, I'm accidentally made this one uh, like, uh, you know, a little angled. You can go click on this little tiny button up here and it'll straighten out all of the sides, which is very nice. And as you can see, you have a much wider stance of an intersection. These right turns are a lot easier to make now for trucks and cars. Um, they'll be able to keep their speed up a little bit. Um, it is a little bit more dangerous, of course, for pedestrians, but um, in general, this is a really nice handy thing to have, especially when you start getting uh, multiple road crossings. Um, so you can see, you can change uh, the options depending on the road color. You can also change the options depending on the on all the roads so uh, let's go ahead and do the blue one so if we do offset let's just set that to 30 as you can see it's going to change the actual road so but if we come over here and we do it for all so let's say we want them all to be uh, the same so we'll clear this out and let's say we want them all to be 20 it's gonna bring it in it's gonna make them all 20 if we want to uh, make them let's say 100 you can do it. It's going to look weird. It's going to look awful, but you can do it. Let's uh, let's change this back to a nice, reasonable. I usually do about like 25, 30. Yeah, so a nice, reasonable 25, 30. Uh, you can also do some other things. So let's go on the blue one again. Um, we can do the rotation. We can shift. So if you have an intersection where you kind of have a one way road meeting up with a two lane avenue, you can actually shift these roads around. So if we go ahead and shift it let's say by 30 oh if i can actually click on the box there we go so it'll actually move the road up and down so if we do uh negative 30 so let's clear that box out do negative 30 again it didn't click on the right i noticed that about this mod sometimes you have to kind of be very specific on where you click but as you can see you can shift where that road is actually at now if we got to move it um, you can see that you can't really do anything with this, but, um, 
the intersection is still here, but the road is actually meeting up down here and the traffic will follow this. So this is really handy. And if you accidentally make a mistake, you accidentally move something too far, you just click the little trash can, everything goes back to normal. You can also do embankments. So if you're doing curves and stuff like that, you can actually embank the road to make it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, so something else you can use this mod for is if you click on one of these nodes, let's say you want a crosswalk here. Well, you get all these different options here. You can do all these different things, but we want to do a crossing, and there we go. You get a nice little crosswalk on that road, which is very handy. We used to have a mod where you kind of click and you do that. That mod no longer works, but this is a very good alternative, and it works really well. Next scenario that you might want to use this for is where you have one-way roads meeting up with an avenue. Uh, so as you can see, this actually doesn't look too bad. Sometimes this can get pretty rough, but everything's going to try to match up to the center. So you're going to get these very wide stance curves. It's just not going to look quite right. So the first thing that we can do is we can turn off uh, markings. So as you can see, it turns off the crosswalk. Um, and then we can go ahead and do a offset. Um, let's do 30, kind of see how that goes, and let's straighten the road out a little bit. So as you can see, that already looks a little bit better. We could probably make this look even better if we were to kind of bring these up in here a little bit more, but now we have this nice transition. It looks like it's more uh, meant for this intersection. I mean, we could do a few things, so we could bring this node back and just kind of work on the angle of tack a little bit. But still, in general, that looks way, way better than what it would look like normally in the real game. And with some line markings, which will be a future mod showcase video, you can really make these intersections look really good. So lastly, I want to kind of show you some cool things that you can do with these um, highway interchanges. So as you can see, we meet up, we add a third lane to give them some time to either de decelerate or accelerate. But as you can see, all the traffic kind of shifts up because it's always going to come off of the center of this node. So as you connect more and more lanes, as you come off the two lane, it's always going to be kind of shifted around. And as you can see, these drivers are going to have to kind of curve up. All of these drivers are not have a very clean um, entrance. So what we can do is we can grab our node controller. As you can see, this it's got pretty steep angles. The first thing that we I like to do is just straighten everything out. And that already looks a lot better. But we still have this problem where the three lane road is higher up and this number three or number one lane uh, and this number one lane don't at match number two, number two, number three is kind of okay, but it's still not that great. So what you can do is if you hold shift and you click this little button, as you can see, they all kind of highlight a little bit. So click this one and then tell it which one you want to match to and boom, it brings it down. So if we go to the next one, highlight, click, and we can do it for the uh, last one. So if we do that, uh, do that, there we go, and click it, and now we have this nicely lined up road. So if we go into our traffic manager, you can see uh, that if we bring this, it's a pretty much just a straight on shot to that. Everything lines up, so now instead of adding lines kind of to the middle, it's always gonna add it down just like you would see in real life. Most of the time when they do widening projects, it's always going to be to the, you know, they're just going to continue adding down um, unless they have a lot of room in the median. So we can do the same on the other side. I just noticed that the road is going the wrong way. Not that it really matters, but I'm just going to swap these around real quick. So we can do the same thing. So if we go and click on it, click on the straighten, which is uh, that right there fixes a lot of the issues you have. Sometimes you don't even need to adjust. Sometimes you don't even need to change anything. Just straightening out the, those little end nodes really helps everything out. But you just hold shift and click to the one you want. Just hold shift, click to the one you want. Now there is another mod I will be doing a showcase that actually does something similar, but it's a little bit faster and easier. Um, but right now, this is still kind of my default method. And then we could come up here and we can be like, okay, well, these guys need a little bit more room to make a right turn. So we can, as you can see, it works on elevated. Give them a little bit more room for left turns and a little bit more room for right turns over here. And you can get as crazy as you want with this. And you can, again, turn off different markings on different sides of the road. You can turn it off in different areas. But in general, this is a really nice to have mod. I really do enjoy it. And it has really brought a lot more realism and a lot even better traffic control. Because when you have 
uh, roads that kind of don't meet up right. Sometimes traffic has to slow down a little bit or things get kind of uh, messed up a little bit. This really does solve that. And it actually does change the, uh, the, the road itself. So traffic is going to follow that pathing path on that road because that is where it is moving the road to. Now, if you do use the move it mod, actually it's been fixed. Uh, let's see. So as you can see, um, it's still shifted a little bit because that's where the game thinks it is. But in reality, the cars and everything else are going to see the road where it's at. So this is just a quick mod showcase. So let me know what you think of this mod down below. It will be linked in the description if you want to pick it up and add it to your game. Of course, you're going to have to be on PC um, and it will be to the Steam Workshop um, if you have this game on Steam. If you don't, you have to get the mod from somewhere else. And I do believe you do need the Harmony mod to get this mod to work. So if there's any other mods you want me to check out or you think I should, uh, you think I would like using, leave those in the comments down below. Let me know if you use this mod or you picked it up and hit that subscribe and like button if you like these videos and I'll see you in the next video.